We got married in a fever, hotter and a pepper, it's brown. We got married in Oxnard. If I went out there, yeah, I'm going to Oxnard. Uh, we're already here. And maybe we'll see you here in Oxnard on Wednesday as the Cowboys uh, roll into an actual practice today, reporting day. And I've got top 10 takes straight from Oxnard. Um, we visited today with Jerry, Stephen, uh, Big Mike, and others. So if you appreciate boots on the ground, that's the way we do it. We're not sitting in a cubicle in Brooklyn writing about the Cowboys. We're, we're here. And we do this with your help. Get in, get on, be good. Bring something of intellect to the table. Please hit the like button over the course of the next uh, coming minutes. And um, we'll find out if you appreciate our grueling efforts to bring you stuff. No, it's boots on the ground, Max, not pants on the ground. <laughs> Mark 27, shame on Zach Martin. We'll get to him. And we'll get to all of it. Um, again, with your help, your contributions, your comments, your criticisms, all welcome via the brief on. I'll get to as many comments as I can in the coming minutes. And here we go live from Oxnard, top 10 takes and ding. No Zach. And uh, we broke the story this morning that a source telling us that he was not here. That qualifies as a holdout. He did not beat the deadline. And so Jerry Jones is on the podium saying, uh, uh, Mr. Media, uh, uh, we ain't going to talk about. But then then came a more private session with Jerry. And I'm putting up the videos of our conversation with Jerry uh, as quickly as I can so you could see him. And I asked him about a history of working together. You come to camp and we'll do our best to accelerate. And he, and he kind of, he said, uh, Mr. Mike, I know that that's what people think, but the reality is, and then he walked me through his reality. And he used the word integrity. And this helps bolsters my, bolster my story about how Dak Prescott's not here or, or wasn't uh, as of 5.59. Hello, wasn't at, as of 5.59. Or uh, uh, 5.59 Dallas time. First, my source kind of hinted, ah, you know, you might want to suggest he's not here. Then my source said he's not here. Then Jerry told me, uh, Mr. Mack, these contracts got to have an integrity to them. He's, and his point is, we've been building this salary cap thing for years. And we've counted on Zach Martin to be what he is. Integrity. And what he said, and he said, you know, there's nothing against Zach. He says, but the integrity of the contract. So it's nothing personal against Zach, but it is a business issue with Zach. Now, contract issues are flying all over the place, and we'll get to dates in a minute. The Chargers have just agreed with Justin Herbert to a five-year, $263 million deal. He is now the highest paid quarterback in football, the highest paid player I guess, in the history of football at 263. Justin Herbert, the highest played, highest paid player in the history of football. And here's the thing about the Cowboys position on, uh, on Zach. So if that number gets jumped here in three years from now, does Justin Herbert have the right to go back into the Chargers and say, you know, I mean, I know that you paid me 262, but now I want more because – that's what Dak, that, that's what Zach Martin is doing. And I, I just want you to help you uh, because the Cowboys need Zach Martin. And so in that sense, go Zach Martin. But I'm explaining to you the Cowboys position straight from the mouth of Jerry Jones as a response to my question. No, Zach. Yes to integrity. Item two. Ding. We told you already, we, we told you this was going to happen on Monday, and now it's happening. Uh, Jordan Lewis on pup, yes. Terrence Steele on pup, no. 
he's fine. Tony Pollard, no, he's fine. Schoon, remember he wore that boot in the offseason with the uh, foot problem. Starts tomorrow on the injury list. Samuel Wimbush, Mike, you said Dak not in camp. Please don't start. Zach. And, and I'll take the blame. Zach. Zeke. Dak. Tank. Yes. It's, uh, Dez. It's easy to get him in confused. So, no, Dak Prescott is here. Zach Martin's not here. I'll take the blame for um, my tongue getting waggled around on all the K's and the Z's. Okay? Thank you. Ed Quinn, I remember when football was a sport, not a millionaire's club. Well, of course, the the owners are a billionaire's club. So up she goes. <clears throat> Max, a contract is a legal document. If you, you sign the paper, you have to honor it. Unless you don't. Ed Quinn, appreciate your pitch in to the uh, Uncle Fish Club. Deke Applegate. I wish my name was Deke Applegate. $5 pitch in into the refund. I finally get fish in my time zone, and he still uses Central Time for breakfast. What the hell? Breakfast at Fish and It's 6 p.m. Central Time here, which is 4 p.m. Cali time here. And then uh, every morning, we'll be doing it at 7.20, breakfast at Fish and Central Time which, yeah, if as long as I'm in Cali, is 520 here. Blah. Item. Ding. The expectations. And this 15 interception thing and this ridiculously stupid uh, interceptions are in Dak's DNA, all that foolishness. So we asked Jerry about what are your expectations here? And love the answer. Uh Mr. Media, my expectations for Dak is to not be uh, surprised by the unexpected. I'm not expecting the unexpected. And it's typical Jerry word salad, but I get it. And he says, we've come to believe that Dak Prescott's not a turnover guy. And so what happened last year was unusual, and I don't expect it again. Dean Graham, ten dollars. As good as a uh, ten dollar pitch in the refund. As good as Zach is at his position, is it really a worry or an unfortunate thing? Well, if if what we're saying is, will he eventually show up financially? You really can't. You know, you, you're making thirteen point five million dollars. You really can't afford to just say to hell with it. You just can't. So ultimately, if the Cowboys want to continue to play hardball hardball here, they they can do that. And they have the right to do that. They have a contract. It's about the part, part of this is about the court of public opinion. And this goes all the way back to Emmett Smith. Cowboys start the season 0 and 2. And the next thing you know, the Cowboys El Foldo and give him what he wanted. Let's hope it doesn't go that far, shall we? We shall. Mike Beasy, Uncle Fish, with the dig signing, how does that impact the cap? Do we now need for DAC to restructure. No, because this, this thing's going to be done and plugged in before DAC gets done. Now, we need to wake up tomorrow morning and look where the Cowboys are salary cap-wise because this just took a big chunk out of it, but, but that's okay. This is the Zach Martin thing that Jerry's talking about. We have a plan. We have a pie. DAC expectations not the unexpected item four dang i asked jerry jones about the neighbors and if you saw our live video today now you understand why they're a little bit irate the cowboys have basically erected buildings around the sidelines that block those homeowners 10 of them or so from not only from seeing the practice field they you know they also when they originally bought those houses they were a football, half a football field away from a golf course. Now, for the next month, what they look out in their backyard is the back of a tent is what they see. So, yeah, John Jones, we covered that. Thank you on Justin Herbert. Thank you for being Uncle Fish Premium. 
Roy Smith, hard with Zach, but soft with Zeke. Uh, the situation, if, if you remember, the clock ticked differently, if you'll remember, right? So we're early on the Zach Martin clock. And oh, by the way, in the Zeke era of contract negotiating, that those the daily fine, you could waive it. They can't do that now. Jimmy Sorrentino, Nick Bosa holding out in San Francisco. That's correct. Zand, what about the construction crew looking inside their homes? Th that, that one's bogus. Who among us hasn't had somebody mow the neighbor's lawn and he looks at your house and he sees that you're shirtless? Who cares? That's not it. What's it is I, I bought a home that is... 50 yards away from a golf course, and now I'm seeing the back of people's heads. That's the it. And I asked Jerry about it, and he, and he said, uh, Mr. Mike, as you know, uh, we used to not have anything and anybody at these practice, at these uh, workouts. Uh, now we're here putting on a show. And then he told me that they have gone to those neighbors, about 10 houses, and said, come on in. So those, uh, those neighbors will be pacified. Now, one of them turns out is a Chiefs fan. He's doing his Chiefs banner, but that's not because he's protesting, I don't think. But there'll be cowboy banners, and yes, as predicted, it won't be Jerry Jones banging on those doors, but the, the, those doors have already been banged on, saying, when you're ready, come on inside. Instead of complaining about the VIP tent, why don't you come sit in one? And you knew that was going to happen. GT, Uncle Fish Premium. Are the cowboys on two-a-days? Oh, no. The CBA does not allow it two a days. They're barely on one a days. Clown watch, you invite the complainers to the party. And of course, this is classic party going strategy and clown watch knows this. If you're gonna throw a big loud barbecue in your backyard, the way to get the neighbors to not complain is to invite the neighbors to the party. I must interrupt. I'm very disappointed in the like button tonight. We're going to probably have about 15,000 people watch this video. If you're one of them, would you right now please hit the like button? In fact, let's have 41 people hit the like button on the count of three, three, two, and one. Dana Dean, Uncle Fish Premium. Zeke versus Zach, totally different deal. Part of it's the rookie contract and all that, but also part of it is the urgency to have that guy. This organization determined at that time was with Zeke, we had to have that guy. And we're not there yet with Zach Martin. We're not there yet. Where are the slappies? There's only room for three of them tonight. I haven't seen any slappies tonight. I'm very proud of us. There, by the way, is the Texas Coast Offense t-shirt. It was the talk of the town today. And uh, it is Dak Prescott approved. So we will keep you posted there. Item five, ding. I wish the national media would, eh, to some degree, the local media. Quit making this so hard. Michael Cox, Uncle Fish Premium. The like button should be the first thing that we all do when we come here. That seems fair to me. Let's do that. Hit the like button as an automatic, shall we? Deal. Tyler Smith is a pivotal decision. There is no decision. I've been telling you this for months. Tyler Smith's the left guard. Tyron Smith, the pivotal. No. Tyron Smith is, is one of the greatest left tackles of his of all time. He's the left tackle. Terrence Steele might move to. No. Terrence Steele is going to be fine. And he's not on pub. Terrence Steele is the right tackle. <clears throat> Don't overcomplicate this. We need Zach Martin here now to have best five. So they're going to be throwing, you know, your Josh Balls, your Matt Lewetska or Letzkas or whatever at right guard until Zach gets here. Best five. Don't overcompensate this. Don't over, don't over contemplate this. It's not that hard. Item. Look at that. What a fantastic catch. Item six. Cut Turpin. Roar. Wait one second. Rob Z, any word on Zach? 
if you go to if you check our videos over the course of the day, if you go to CowboysSI.com or when you rewatch this, you will find the scoop on Zach Martin. Cut, Camonte Turpin. What? ESPN does the 53-man projection, and they have Camonte Turpin not making the team. It's part of the it's part of the fun of making a projection. Who's going to return punts? Mr. F, someday Jerry will die, and he will join the club of almost, as far as I know, the rest of us. Ed Quinn, Uncle Fish Premium. Fish, is training camp still exciting after all these years? It is to me. Um, and I, I think this this might be 41 of them. Randy Minich, who the Cowboys just signed from the USFL. Cornerback, Josh Butler, who just happens to be from Mesquite, Texas. So, local guy, made good. Joey, why would you cut a pro bowler, speed guy, on basically a rookie contract? I wouldn't. There's not that many guys who are truly impactful as a punt returner. You know, Deuce Vaughn return kicks. Okay, maybe. Deuce Vaughn is a punt returner? It's not what he's done. The jugger, Deuce could return punts, but it's not what he's done. Jimmy, why don't we put on the pads before we start cutting pro bowlers? Ding. I am seven. Mike McCarthy said, this is the best culture. This is the best rookie clue. This is the best blah. This is, blah. This is the best group we've had. And as he enters year four in Dallas, best roster we've had. Yeah, I think so. Which, which is why 12 and five, 12 and five, should not logically be followed up by a, a flop. 12 and 5, 12 and 5, and another successful season and a playoff berth and Super Bowl contention. It just seems, I don't know, logical. Michael P, Michael Gallup could return kicks. No. Nope. Gabe, if loving Mike Fisher is wrong, I don't want to be right. You want me to sing it? I don't. And so here comes Diggs. This is a new deal, five-year extension, almost $100 million. It doesn't make him the highest paid cornerback in football. It probably puts him in the top five. Good for him for saying, give me $42 million guaranteed up front in a signing bonus, and let's go. Good for him. And good for somebody else, too. What do you think of Cap Boy now? I always thought the juvenile Cap Boy nickname for Stephen Jones, I, I just thought it was infantile. I thought it was beneath Cowboy Nation. I guess it wasn't. Can we get rid of it now? Cap Man is what I've been calling him. They, they have built a team that wins 12 games every year, and they're Cap compliant. And what I said is, I want to see Jerry write the big check before I completely endorse. He just wrote the big check. He just wrote the big check. So as Paul Gale says, Cap Boy now has the diapers behind him. And he's got underarm hair. Yay. Item. Nine. Uh, the Josh Butler thing, we wrote about this at CowboysSI.com. Um, like, I keep going, guess maybe because he's friend of the show, Anthony Brown, sitting on the shelf. Uh, I know that he's done work inside the star uh, as he rehabs. But it does not look like it is to be. Now, where's Josh? What's Josh Butler from the USFL and Mesquite and Michigan State? The 90th guy. So we're going to shuffle. Um the bottom of that roster or churn the bottom of that roster. By the way, speaking of which the Cowboys very openly said, yeah, we like this kicker. Yeah. We like that kicker, but we're not done. We're, this is a work in progress. If Tristan Viscaino doesn't look the way we want him to look, that's, that, that's fine. We'll find the next guy. If uh, Brandon Aubrey doesn't look the way we want him to look from Plano high school and the uh, major league soccer, we'll find the next guy. Robbie Gold. Robbie Gold's better. 
this is my problem with what the Cowboys are doing here. Robbie Gold is better today than those guys will ever be. Why don't you shut it down? Clayton Godfrey, Parsons contract going to be so frigging big. How about 35 million APY? That's my prediction. Robert Gallimore on the bubble. Indeed. Not announcing he's getting cut. Just saying that they have, this team has assembled now defensive linemen, interior and on the edge. And how about a trade? There's extra bodies here. Finally, item 10. Shoddy talked the other day. And he did the Favre deck comparison. And what you have to remember about this, first of all, um, Shoddy coached Favre with the Jets. And of course, Big Mike coached Favre with the Packers. Josh Randor, $10 pitch in. Trade deal, great for him, great for the team, great for the young Cowboys cornerbacks that are watching this payday. And thank you, Josh. And it's not the payday. They found a compromise point. Like I assume they will find with Zach Martin. David Harmon with a what? $300 pitch in. $300 for the brief run? What? Fish, I'm at my one-year anniversary of listening to this show. Thank you for the content. When I listen to my friends talk about the Cowboys, it's crazy how far off they are compared to what I know, thanks to you. I don't know if I don't know if I'm worth 300 bucks, but sons of bitches, I'll take it. Thank you, Josh, for the pitch in. Thank you, David Harmon, for the pitch in. Uh, yeah, I assume it's 105 degrees in Texas. And today I went to the uh, training camp and I wore a pullover sweater, <laughs> a hoodie. So, yeah, it's a little different. Shoddy says, well, first of all, we don't need a fixed stack. Sean Durham with the $10 pitch in. I just spent the money. Oh, oh, just spend the money and go get a consistent long-term kicker. The Gould thing or somebody of that level might cost you $4 million. It's okay to go through this exercise with these two guys, but be ready to pull the trigger quickly if and when it doesn't work. Jangly, did you see my super chat? I have not, but I'm going to look now, Jangly. I don't want to screw you up. Jangly, I'll look for you, and then if you want to try to repeat it, I'll make sure that I, I'll do my best to get to you. There's Josh, I appreciate it. There's David, I appreciate you. Oh, there's Jangly with a $5 pitch in. Zach's picking the worst time to complain about his contract. Just go out there and man up. I'm of the opinion that every football player should get every penny he can because they're risking risking literally life and limb. But when I, I watched like the local paper take Zach's side, saying, well, obviously, he, no, it's not obvious. So in that sense, Jangly, I agree. It's not obvious. There's an absolutely solid argument to be made, as the Cowboys are making and Jerry subtly making with me. Contract's a contract. We gave Zach Martin that contract four years ago with a plan. With a, We had a six-year plan. Don't come screw up the plan. Now, if you move Zach Martin from 13 and a half to 17 and a half, how much does that upset the apple cart? Dana Dean, Fish, can we get from Broken Halo in the Uncle Fish store, the Uncle Fish store, can we get the Texas Coast offense ball caps? I wouldn't be shocked if Broken Halo pops right up. There he is. Broken Halo, Dana Dean, yes, they're in the works. Indeed, they are. Kelly Brooks with a $20 pitch in. What? Thank you, Kelly. There's parts of Brett Favre's game, obviously, that a quarterback like Dak Prescott or anybody else does not want to emulate. I'm going to throw it behind my back, and I'm going But Shadi was talking the other day, and he said when he coached uh, Favre with the Jets, and, of course, this is Brett Favre at age, what, 38? He said, you know, he'd throw into coverage. One receiver's, open, one receiver's there and three defenders right. What are you doing? He said, I can make that throw. And, and then Shadi would say, but Brett, why? I, yes, you can. But why? There's three defenders there. So Shoddy's saying, he's working with Dak. He says, Dak doesn't need to be fixed, but Dak wants to make a play. Not unlike Brett Favre. 
And we got to coach him down from that a little bit and make sure he understands down and distance, situational, what's the score, all those things. And as Dak enters year eight uh, and gets ready to turn 30, this is a good time for Dak to learn from Brett Favre all the good stuff and all the bad stuff. Uh, I beg of you on bended knee, thank you for the likes tonight, go to CowboysSI.com. You will not be disappointed. Uh, if something breaks tonight, we're on it. Although, as you can see, I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> and then breakfast at Fishinies, 5.20 Cali time tomorrow morning, 7.20 Central time. As always, Fish out.